हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ राहुल नितिन पाटिल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री सिके ठाकुर कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल टुडे विल डिस्कस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री एंड इट्स प्रिंसिपल दीज आर द कंटेंट्स इंट्रोडक्शन हिस्ट्री ऑफ ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री कंक्लूजन एंड रेफरेंसेस इंट्रोडक्शन ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री रिफर्स टू द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मिनिमाइजेशन टू इलिमिनेट नेगेटिव एनवायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट्स ऑफ केमिकल्स एंड केमिकल प्रोसेसेस ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री इज द डिजाइन डिजाइन ऑफ केमिकल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड प्रोसेसेस दैट रिड्यूस और इलिमिनेट द जनरेशन ऑफ हजार्डस सब्सटेंसेस A green chemistry is the design of chemical a chemical product and processes that reduce or eliminate the generation of hazardous substances it is the idea of making chemistry more environmental friendly as well as more sustainable history of the green chemistry early 1900 chemistry grew from theories done in the labs to an industry done in factories mid 1900 the negative uh, the negative effects of the chemical pollution were the becoming apparent in 1991 green chemistry invented by paul anastas in 1998 paul anastas and john warner published the book green chemistry theory and practice the book include 12 principal of green chemistry in 1999 royal society of chemistry formed and started the journal of green chemistry first principle of the green chemistry first uh, waste prevention it is better to prevent the waste formation than to treat it after it is formed plan ahead to minimize waste at every step example recycle paper second maximize atom economy design synthetic methods to max uh, maximize incorporation of all the starting material converted into the final product third less hazardous chemical synthesis synthetic method should be designed uh, should be used where practicable use or generate materials uh, at a low human toxicity and the environmental impact fourth one safer chemicals and the products chemical products a design should preserve the efficacy while reducing the toxicity fifth safer solvents and reaction conditions choose the safest solvent available for any a uh, uh, given step minimize the total uh, minimize the total amount of that solvent example auxiliary substances made unnecessary whenever it is possible for example ethanol water etc number 6 design for energy efficiency choose the least energy intensive chemical route and avoid the heating and the cooling as well as the preserving and that vacuum conditions Seventh one, use renewable feedstock. So raw material should be renewable rather than depleting one. It means the raw material should, uh, where practicable, be renewable. Example, glucose. Number eight, avoid chemical derivatives. Minimize the use of the temporary derivatives. Then nine, use catalyst. the catalyst we are using the use catalyst that is the instead of the stoichiometric reagent that is catalytic re reagents are more superior than the stoichiometric reagents number 10 design chemicals and products to uh, degrade after use design chemicals that degrade and uh, can be uh, destroy or can be it means it will not harmful to the environment as well as the human life so it will cannot the persist to the environment so that's why design chemicals and products to degrade after use 11 analyze in real time to prevent pollution monitor chemical uh, reaction in real time uh, they occur to prevent the formation release of any uh, potentially uh, hazardous and uh, polluting sustainable or substances example in the ir monitoring real time that ir monitoring number 10 minimize potential for accidents choose and develop chemical uh, procedures that are often or safer and inherently minimize the risk of the accident it means we have to choose such a type of the methods it means we have in the main motive of that uh, 
according to that Paul Anastas the scientist uh, the uh, green chemistry is the concept to design it means we have to develop such a method so it will at the end of their function it will not affect to the environment as well as the human life so these are the 12 principles of the green chemistry so benefits of the green chemistry environmental benefits lower level of the chemicals released to environment reduce emission and the product impact lower potential for global warming ozone depletion and the uh, smoke formation plants and animals suffer less harm from toxic chemicals in the environment then benefits of green chemistry in business benefits reduced waste uh, treatment and disposal cost uh, then reduce use of the petroleum products uh, then slowing their the depletion and avoiding their hazards and price uh, hazard price fluctuation then conclusion what uh, using this 12 principle and the concept of the green chemistry we can conclude green chemistry aims to develop a new practice of chemistry with rules which provides resolution resolution to problems that human is facing totally or today such as the climate changes green chemistry is very helpful in prevention of pollution at the molecular level it gives innovative scientific uh, solutions it reduces the negative impact of chemical uh, products on human and environmental health these are the references we can use for this uh, concept of the green chemistry and its 12 principle Thank you.